Welcome to your first flip lesson. First thing I want to make sure that you did is read the instructions because you want to make sure you maximize the amount of points that you get on a flipped lesson. So don't forget to do your quiz and do your homework if you need to remediate for your quiz. The best course of action is, of course, to watch the video, then do the homework, then do the quiz. The other thing to note is the formula for slope. Uh, if you got an old printout of the notes, might not be correct. This is the correct form. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is your equation for your slope. The other things to remember is if you have a horizontal line, your slope is zero. And if you have a vertical line, any number over zero, it's undefined. And your zero slope always needs to be listed as zero, not none. And your vertical slope has to be listed as undefined. So we're going to use the calculation a couple of times, and we're going to calculate slope on the examples 2, A, B, and C. So we know that M is equal to, we're going to go ahead and label this X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So this is going to be 8 minus minus 8, 6, which will become 8 plus 6, over 2 minus minus 5, which will be 2 plus 5, which is going to be 14 over 7, which reduces to 2. Okay, this one is going to be more difficult, of course, because it has fractions. So my slope is going to be negative 2 minus 1 half over negative 1 third minus 2 thirds. So I'm going to deal with both of the fractions first negative 2 to get a common denominator on the top, that's negative 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is going to give me negative 5 over 2. And then the denominator of the denominator is going to be negative 1 third minus 2 thirds. They have the same base, so I can just combine them. That's negative 3 over 3, which reduces to negative 1. So this is going to go to be 1 and this negative is going to cancel with the top. So my final slope is 5 halves. My last example, I have x1, y1, x2, y2. So I have negative 4 minus minus 4, which is going to be negative 4 plus 4. And then I have 7 minus 3. So that's going to be equal to 0 over 4. This has the zero in the numerator, that's fine. This just gives me a zero slope. So this line is horizontal. 